Thank you for sharing your Wednesday afternoon with us here on Cabo Bay in LA. This is America's first and only daily talk show for and about the Filipinos. And for our Cabo Bayans who may be going through some economic hardships or you're struggling to pay your mortgage, you may want to consider short sale. That is something that a lot of people are doing right now. But first, you need to be informed. This real estate buzz segment is brought to you by McLeod & Associates, a full-service real estate and mortgage firm. It's not about the number of homes we sell, but the difference we make in people's lives. Mia, first of all, thank you. You know, every time you come here, a lot of our viewers learn something about real estate, which mm -hmm. is very important, especially in our mm -hmm. economic climate right now. Mm -hmm. I also hear a lot about short sale. Yes. What are short sales? Well, short sale is one way to prevent foreclosure. Mm. It's when a homeowner or a seller wants to sell their home for less than what they currently owe to the lien holders. A lien holder can be your first loan, your second loan, or a home equity line of credit. So for example, let's say John Doe owes 400000 to the bank mm -hmm. and the, he sells his house for 300000 Okay. The bank has to be willing to take that $100,000 loss resulting in a short payoff. And what is happening right now? Do you see a lot of banks doing that? Do you see a lot of homeowners selling, doing the short sale route? We've seen a pickup in short sales in 2012, definitely. And we think that in 2013, we're going to see that niche really carry on. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? It really depends on the homeowner's situation. It's definitely not for everyone, but it can also be a great alternative for a lot of people out there. And say, for example, this is an alternative for me. Mm -hmm. How do I apply for a short sale? For one, you have to be a homeowner that's underwater. So again, you need to owe more to the bank than what the house is currently worth. Does it matter if it's like $60,000 underwater, $100,000, $10,000, $20,000? No, not necessarily. But more importantly, you also have to be able to show some, side, uh, some kind of hardship. Okay. How yeah. do you show that? What, is, how, how, what determines a hardship? That's really a great question because there are a lot of people out there, I feel, that are, you know, currently going through a hardship but not sure if their current situation actually qualifies as a hardship. Oh, okay. So there's many types of hardship, you okay. know. One can be unemployment, mm -hmm. one can be a loss in income, maybe they took a huge cut in their job, one can be for medical reasons or even if they have a family member that maybe has cancer and they're taking care of them or a job transfer, they're moving to another state for job reasons, mm -hmm. um, a divorce, or maybe you're, you have a college uh, son or daughter now and so your your debt has increased. Oh, okay. So, so those are the different things. Uh -huh. and that's why you need you need to consult with a realtor who knows what she's doing mm -hmm. because uh, they can explain these things to you. And speaking of explaining, can you explain to us what is mortgage debt relief? Okay, that's another really good question. Before this act actually passed, you know, anyone that short sold a home would be responsible for paying taxes on the loss. Okay. So taking that example we used earlier with John Doe, he owed four hundred thousand to the bank. He sold it for three hundred. That hundred thousand dollars, he would have received a ten ninety nine oh. from the bank as if it was earned income, right. and he would be responsible for paying the taxes on it. That sucks. He totally. <laughs> yes, definitely does. Okay. And so. What that um, act did is what it, it relieved the homeowners of that tax burden. Okay, which is good. Really good. Which is good. Yeah. So aside from that, what are the benefits of um, doing a short sale? You know, for one, it doesn't have the same social stigma as a foreclosure. Mm -hmm. uh, two, you know, you're still the owner of the home, so you're taking a proactive approach to selling your house, and you get to meet the buyer. Okay. You know, another reason is a lot of these lenders are giving relocation assistance. If you qualify, of course, but that's a monetary assistance. Mm -hmm. um, and lastly, and the most popular question that these clients want to know is, you know, how soon after a short sale can, can I you buy? buy? Exactly. Yeah. And according to Fannie Mae guidelines, you're eligible to apply for a mortgage loan two years after the short so sale. So you waited out for two years. You wait out. That's so, you know, really, it's it's a blink of an eye yeah. for some families. You know, and just to give you an example, some families we short sold three years ago. They're buying houses now for much less right. for more more solid loan programs, better interest, better yeah. interest rates, and yeah. almost some of them, it's half their mortgage payment than what they used to. So, so it's like a fresh start. Yeah, you know? that sounds good. You enumerate a lot of benefits. What about drawbacks? Are there drawbacks to a short sale? Well, basically, the one main drawback 
feedback is no short sale is guaranteed to be approved. Okay. And the process can be frustrating and time consuming for, you know, everyone involved. But, um, and one other drawback is there's credit implications. So of course your credit gets affected. But, you know, if this is really something for you and you're thinking about it, you really need to consult with an experienced real estate agent that knows the pros and cons, get educated to see if this is really something that's a good alternative. Wonderful. And McLeod and Associates, uh, their team will be there to help you. They will. You explain everything with your clients, right? Yes, and absolutely. You take them through the process and all that. So you yes. will never leave them. You'll take care of them. Oh, we handhold and eliminate as much of the guesswork as we can. All right. Yeah. We have your commitment. Everybody's watching. They, yes. they can hear you. Mm -hmm. That's the number to call on the screen to call for your appointment now for consultation. Thank you so much. And Thank more power you. to you. Thank you.